A 15th century shipwreck off the coast of Sweden may be Scandinavia's oldest shipwreck built in the innovative Carvel style, a design that gave it the strength to carry heavy cannons, archaeologists say. The wreck at Landfjarden, south of Stockholm, is one of five in the area that have been known since the 1800s. They were commonly thought to have been from ships dating to the Viking Age, AD 793 to 1066. But last year, maritime archaeologists at Vrak, the Museum of Wrecks in Stockholm, revealed that four of the wrecks date to the 1600s and 1700s and that the oldest wreck was built before 1480 and perhaps as early as the 1460s, museum curator and project manager Hakan Althrock said in a statement. It's a large ship, likely about 35 meters, 115 feet long and 10 meters, 33 feet wide, he said. The ship's frame still rises high above the seabed, and in the stern, both the sternpost and rudder remain upright. The most significant aspect of the wreck, now known as Vrak 5, is that it was built in the Carvel style, with planks on the hull that were flush with neighboring planks so that the whole hull surface was relatively smooth, Altrock said. By contrast, traditional Nordic ships, such as Viking longships, were built in the clinker style with overlapping planks, which had made them light and relatively flexible. But the use of Carvel-style flush planks, an innovation from the Mediterranean dating to about the 7th century AD, meant that a ship's hull could be reinforced with framing to make it stronger. This was an important consideration when ships started carrying cannons in the 15th century, Altrock said, so traditional clinker-built ships soon became obsolete. These details make Vrak 5 key to understanding the transition from clinker-built to Carvel-built ships, an important period in Sweden's maritime history, Altrock said. We plan to apply for external funding for an excavation, he said. This ship represents a fascinating link between medieval and modern shipbuilding. The new analysis also showed that the trees used for the wood in Vrak 5 had been felled in Sweden's southern Kalmar region or in the nearby Bleking region, Altrock said. The Vrak archaeologists have also made a digital model of the wreck using photogrammetry, a technique that combines digital photographs so that their positions are reflected in three dimensions, and the results are now online.